When you first start up the image software, you'll see a screen like this. You need to either open a photo or create a new one to be able to get access to the menu. That's just a note. Let's go ahead and, and play with a built-in image here. There's all kinds of different uh, ways you can change the image. It, uh, it just goes on and on. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you play around with the software, you'll find all of the different ways. Of course, these are just filters. And the resize, I'm not going to cover that. Crop is the same. You want to crop the image. You know, you just choose a little area there and crop it. It's not uh, nothing to uh, really worry about there. It's pretty simple. So now what we can do is, let's go ahead. We could actually flip it and turn it into a whole new image. And, of course, pretty simple. Uh, the drawing is is straightforward, too. Choose a color, choose a brush type, uh, size, and there's some birds flying in. Shapes, very self-explanatory. Uh, let's go back to shapes there just a second. I will show you this, and you got different little tools over here. You can, you know, again, you can flip it, bring it to front if it gets, you know, you want it above everything else. If you got a couple of different images on here, you can make sure it always stays in the front when you're working and, of course, when you're saving. Uh, the stickers. Stickers are nothing more than SVG images. You can use them however you like, put them wherever you want. You can apply, and then there's different variations you can do here. Okay, uh, with a texture. I mean, that's, that's something you just have to experiment with. On some of the SVGs, it just completely wipes them out. And then on others, it will just make this, this uh, texture be part of the image. You just have to experiment with them. There are all kinds of different sites out there with free SVG images. You can also upload a texture. And, of course, if you, you see this upload, if you do not have one of these chosen when you try to upload, the upload will not appear, so you have to make sure it's chosen. Uh, the frame, uh, that's pretty much pretty much explanatory too. Uh, corners, that's uh, pretty simple. You can see, you can round it there if you like. Background, that's uh, just uh, the canvas color. You see that it changed back there in the background. Uh, there's really not much more. You've got some uh, undo buttons here. You, of course, you can get back to the original image. And here are the objects. This is the main image that you loaded in. And there's your timeline. You can tell where you added stickers and, and applied round corners. You can always go back using the history. Um, let's see here. Now, saving... Uh, if I want to save this image, I can choose JPEG, PNG, or JSON. Okay, so this function is to allow you, after you've made all the changes you want to the image, you can export this image in, the, in JSON format. Okay, of course, I'm not going to save it, but if you do, you can get over here on Open. You can open exports, and that way, if you've got an image you, you like and you want to change it, Every now and then, you can import it and make the changes. Okay, since we've got this open, I'm going to cover a background image. Background image is nothing more than a background image. Let's just, okay, here we go. We'll just do this one. I'll show you. See, it wipes out that whole other image we had on the screen, right? So if you want to start with a background image and then add to it, that's what a background image is. All right, now if we want to do an overlay image, let's just choose that same one. And you can see it's an overlay image now. It doesn't wipe out the whole thing. So there's your differences in overlay and background. And there's really a not a whole lot more to cover on this. It's very simple and straightforward. And it's meant to be a simple image editor. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.